Rappers and producers, many of you ask me, how do I find my demographic as a creative on the internet? How do I find my target market? Let's talk about it. Rappers and producers, finding your demographic is very important to you making sure that your conversation marketing wise and advertising wise is as clear as it possibly can be to the people that need to hear it the most. So as you're putting together your memes, as you're putting together your particular album cover, as you're putting together your logo and all your branding tools, you're starting to figure out, hey, this is speaking to somebody. My music speaks to somebody. You know, it may be you at 17. It may be, you know, you speaking to a, 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 a person that you once were. Maybe you were a very quiet person. Maybe you're a very, you know, reclusive person. And maybe your music it speaks to that person coming out of their shell. So now who you speak for, who you're the leader of and the voice of is a, a, a generation of artists or a generation of young people or a generation of women or men that want to find a way to bust out of their shell. Or maybe you're the type of person that's like, yo, I've been about the party since I was in elementary. How, son? I don't know, whatever. But you did that. Maybe that's what you're about, and so your music is about that. So that being said, it's important for you to first know who you are before trying to get any tools. I'm gonna give you some practical tools on how to find your demographic and your target market. Before you do that, figure out who you are first because you'll know exactly what you're looking for. If you know that your music is specifically geared towards you know, uh, men between 20 and 28 years old and it's very aggressive music, it's mosh pit type of music, you know what things to look for. You know, when you think about demographic, what is demographic? Demographic is basically the makeup of your audience. It's the age, the sex, it's the religion, it's the income, it's all these things, the, the, the level of college or the level of schooling. All these things play into your demographic. Why is it important for a rapper or producer to know that? You got to know who you're talking to. And better than that, you want to know who's buying from you. As a rapper, you want to know, yo, most of my streams are coming from women between 17 and 26. Well, you need to figure out how you can get your advertisement in front of them since they're the ones consuming it. Or maybe you're a producer that says, you know what, I make a lot of trap beats, but for some reason I'm getting like these really super lyrical rappers who love trap beats. You need to find out how to get in front of them. Well, how do you figure that out? You got to figure out who's buying from you. Now, one way that I figured out my demographic many of times was using a tool called SurveyMonkey. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but SurveyMonkey is basically an extension of MailChimp. It's a survey in which you can basically line up 10 questions. And I even attach, you know, uh, an example of my particular survey so you can go check it out. But you basically make this survey you know, you get, a, you get a unique link that comes with it, and then you send that link out to your email list of people who have bought from you or at least are inquiring about buying from you. Once you send this email out, it will give you a snapshot of your audience based upon how many people actually respond to you. You know, you'll get a snapshot, snapshot of what your audience is or what, what, who they are. You know, mine is crazy. Mine is 95% males who love hip hop. They're not too much a big fan of trap, even though they don't hate trap, they're big fans of hip hop. You know, they're typically between 25 to 35 years old. That's my demographic. That's my buying demographic. You got to figure out what your demographic is so you know who you're speaking to. Imagine if, you know, you're this rapper that's super lyrical, miracle, and you all off the head and everything's crazy, but you're talking to 16 to 24 year olds. Even though they are a fan of your lyricism and they understand it to a certain degree, there's a certain way that you're going to have to advertise to them so that you speak their language. Well, it's good to know if you're speaking to them and not just a general audience. You know, that's one thing we can't do is just put our music out there and say, yo, I want everybody to love our music. Everybody's not going to love your music. You know, you may get a lot of people who like your music, but not everybody's going to love your music. You are here for the diehards. You're not here for the fair weathers. You go there looking for the fair weather fans, you're going to end up having conversations with people that are going to waste your time. You are here for the diehards. Find yourself a diehard. When you find yourself a diehard, this is what's going to happen. You could have a diehard. You could have literally, you know, 20 diehards that account for more income than having 400 so-so fans. Because diehards buy everything. You know, I talked about it in the How to Build a Fan Base video. It's your 80-20. It's, it's literally, you know, the 20% uh, of your audience that consumes 80% of your product. So if you figure out who that particular demographic is, 
You will basically make more money than somebody who has a million fans if you can figure out a way to monetize or even create an audience of that 80-20 that is just a thousand fans. You'll make more than the person that has a million fans. Because if you got a million fans and say 900,000 900, 900, 900, of them are just oh so so fans, they probably wouldn't even buy you know their song for a, a dollar. But if you got a thousand diehards who will all pay a hundred dollars a year, come on. It's about $100,000. So with that said, it's important for you to find your particular demographic. And then also, once you have your demographic, you know what market you're in. Is it young people? Is it women? Is it men? Once you have that market, now you can target it. Now the way you target it, well, when you're starting to put in all these tools within your Facebook ads, you put these tools in your Twitter ads, now you can look at that and say, I know my music speaks to 18 to 24 year olds. I need to put that in front of them. I know that my music speaks more so primarily to East Coast you know, consumers. I need to get my music in front of them. So now as you're putting these tools in, you're starting to target and you're starting to focus in your efforts on the people that are going to consume and buy your stuff the most. So that being said, you need to know your demographic first. And then once you got your demographic, target them. Once again, it's another Curspiration. <laughs> hey, if you need some more of this juice, doodle, please subscribe to the channel below. Be a part of the notification gang. Hey, hey, hey. Richie, you ain't doing it. Why? What's going on? What, why? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Anyways, look, I just want to say thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Patreon.com slash Curtis King. The ball head Curtis King. You better not call me no chicken head neither. I'll beat your ass. I'm just playing. Am I? Anyways. Going back to the topic at hand, Curtis got problems, I know. <laughs> Going back to the topic at hand, here's what we'll say. You want to find your demographic, you need to first go and just survey your audience. Sometimes these websites and Facebook and Twitter, they actually give you the tools. You don't have to even do the work. You ain't even got to go to SurveyMonkey. Some of them just give you the tools and your own uh, analytics. If you have a business account on Instagram, it'll provide you all these tools. It'll let you know where most of your views are coming from, what city within a 50 mile radius. It'll let you know. They're making it as easy as possible for you to win. You just got to know what you're looking at and what you're looking for. Once you find that, you find that market, you target on that market and make your money, my friend. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeast.com. See how I kept eye contact with you. When I listen to you, it's a liability. Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy. So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me. I can't listen to you.